Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about frequency polygon. So I'll share my computer screen with you. says uh, construct a frequency polygon from the given group data. So the uh, groups are classes and frequency. So the first class is from 41.5 to 46.5. Frequency in that class is four. And then the next class is from 46.5 to 51.5. The count in that class of frequency in that class is 11. The third class is from 51.5 to 56.5, count in that class of frequencies 14 and so forth. So the frequency polygon is a plot of the midpoints of the classes and the frequency in that class. So midpoint is a short of middle point. So let's make a column for here. Midpoint. As I told you, midpoint is the short, mid is the short of middle. So the middle of the class. So basically, for the first class, you will add 41.5 plus 46.5 and divide it by 2. Okay, which will be 98. Is it? No. Uh, 40. So it will be 88. Eight, okay. So this is 46. I'll write it a little bigger. And this is a plus in between. So this is 7888 by 2. And this is equal to 44. Okay. The next one will be similarly 46.5 plus 51.5 divided by 2, which is, uh, let's see, so it is 7, 8, it's 98 divided by 2, which is 49. What is the difference between 49 and 44 is 5, okay? What is the class width over here? Class width is 46.5 minus 41.5. And that is equal to 5. The difference between this and this is the class width. So class width is 5. Class width is equal to 5. This is important point to note. Notice the midpoints are also separated by 5. So next one, you automatically add a 5. And the next one becomes 54. Next one becomes 59. Next one becomes 59 plus 5 is 64. And the last one becomes 69. So if I make a table of midpoints versus frequency. So I get midpoints are 44 plus 549. Next one is plus 554. Next one plus 5 is 59. Next one is 64. And next one is plus 569. The corresponding frequencies are 4, 11, 14, 9, 4, and 2. So now I'm going to make a chart of X versus Y. These midpoints will be my X or the horizontal axis. My frequency will be the Y or the vertical axis. So the first thing I need to do is to create some space for myself so that I can do the frequency polygon with the midpoints and frequency. So let me go back here and let me change the color of the okay. 
So, so here I have space here to make the frequency polygon diagram. So frequency polygon. So on the vertical axis, I will have the frequency. Um, yeah, frequency. So this axis is always frequency. Frequency on the vertical axis and on the horizontal axis. I have the midpoints. So midpoints. Points. So what are my midpoints? I'm starting from 44. The next one is 49. Next. So let me draw a better diagram. Give me a minute. Let me take care of this one. I don't like the quality of that. So I will, what I will do is I will erase this. And I'll make a better frequency polygon for you. I'll create a little bit more space. Okay. So, again, let me make an attempt. So the midpoints are here. Let's first draw the midpoints. So let's start from here, 44, and then 49, and then 54, and then 59, and then I'll explain this a little bit. Then this is 64, and then this is 69. And I'll put the frequency. The frequency, the lowest is uh, 2 and the highest is 14. So in the frequency axis, I can start from 0, 5, 10, 15. So this is my frequency. Frequency. This vertical axis. And these are the midpoints on the horizontal axis. And that's your frequency polygon. So let's plot. The first one, midpoint is 44, frequency is 4. The next one, midpoint is 49, frequency is 11. Somewhere over here. The next one, midpoint is 54. This is 54. 54 and the frequency is 14. Somewhere over here. Okay, the next one, midpoint is 59, frequency is 9. So 9 will be slightly lower than 10. So somewhere over here. <clears throat> the next one, midpoint is 64, frequency is 4, slightly lower. How about this? And then 69, it is 2, somewhere over here. Now you can subtract the class width on the left. So 44, this is 44, remember. Minus 5 will be 39. And the first class is 44, frequency is 4, there is nothing at 39. So the frequency for 39 is 0. And if you add another 5 on the right to 69, it becomes 74. The midpoint of the last class is 69, so there is no frequency at 74, so it is zero. What is the advantage of doing that? Then you start from the horizontal axis and come back on the horizontal axis. So this is your frequency polygon. Frequency polygon which is 
frequency versus midpoint. What is the advantage of this type of chart? So for example, suppose you select the class with the midpoint of 59. You look at this chart and you know the frequency of the class with 15 is slightly less than 10, actually it is nine. So class with midpoint 59 has a frequency of nine. You can read it off this diagram or this chart, frequency polygon chart, or uh, frequency polygon diagram. So this is your frequency polygon for this set of data. Okay. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And please let your friends know about this video. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Uh, let your friends know about this channel so that they can also subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you.